you do? It's just the smoke detectors. Mom, I'm scared. What's going on? Who are all those people in there? Mom, who cares? Are we gonna die right now? You idiot, it's just a smoke detector. Shut up! Everybody, stop! FX is Pama Adelon starring Better Things, maybe one of the better things you'll see on TV this fall. And there's a lot of TV in the coming months. Debuting on September 8th, the semi-autobiographical comedy about LA actress Sam Fox, the single mom of three daughters, will undoubtedly get tagged as a gender bend and West Coast version of Louie. What? 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 Even more so because Louis C.K. is the co-creator of the series, along with his sometimes on-screen love interest Pamela on his five-season FX show. Now honestly, that wouldn't be so bad if you're as talented as Adelon and considering CK has had a pretty good batting average of late with the likes of Horace and Pete. <laughs> but here's the thing, and here's why the Adelon CK, M. Blair Briard and David Becky EP 10 episode first season of Better Things is much better than that. Because the semi-autobiographical premise of the show, which Adelon partially writes and directs, as did C.K., and the three daughters, played wonderfully by Mickey Madison, Hannah Allgood, and the youngest Olivia Edward, plus the across-the-street eccentric English mom, Celia Emery, is so strong amidst the chaos and constant humming smartphones notification of real life and L.A. living. And because Adelon herself is just so talented, and the King of the Hill voiceover star has long been a lead that was just waiting for her own show to do her own thing with. You're my mom. I want you to know if I have sex or if I want to get high. Ah! No! Hide things from me! Please! Cameos from Constance Zimmer, David Duchovny, Bradley Whitford, and Julia Bowen, and a great turn by Lenny Kravitz, and a slam at the cliches of network pilots, plus some John Lennon and a finely chosen soundtrack only punctuates the point, as does the way the show balances the necessary anxiety of its subject matters and the reality of situations like home-cooked dinners fraught with unspoken tensions and narcissistic parents competing for attention in what I would say the most inappropriate way. As the verbally uninhibited multitask ex-child star, the Emmy-winning Adelon, who owned every scene she was in in the over seven seasons of Californication, and many she wasn't in, only gets better over the episodes that I saw. And really, isn't that a great thing? I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.